embark on a transformative journey with Lumen Spiritus, the light of spirit, a channel dedicated to exploring the depths of spirituality and the esoteric. Join us as we navigate a path of enlightenment and discovery, unraveling the enigmatic tapestry of the unseen realms. In this video, we unravel the secrets of esoteric rune divination, exploring the mystical language of runes and their profound significance in the realm of ancient wisdom. Join us as we decode the intricate meanings hidden within these sacred symbols, revealing insights into the mysteries of the universe. This video is filled with intriguing and thought-provoking facts, so don't hesitate to hit pause or to watch it again. Plus, you'll find additional insights, book links, and our top 10 videos from Lumen Spiritus in the video description below for further exploration. Have you ever contemplated the profound mystery of the ancient symbols we call runes? In the vast cosmos of the esoteric and occult, runes hold a special place. These are not mere symbols etched on stones, but a mystical language filled with profound wisdom and deep secrets. They are the whispering voices of our ancestors, echoing through the ages, inviting us to unlock their mysteries. Runes originated in the misty realms of prehistoric Europe. Their existence predates the Latin alphabet, serving as the earliest form of written communication for various Germanic tribes. The word rune itself, rooted in the Old Norse run, means secret or mystery, signifying the esoteric nature of these symbols. Over time, different types of rune systems emerged, each with their unique set of symbols and interpretations. The most ancient of these is the Elder Futark, a collection of 24 symbols believed to have been in use around the 2nd to the 8th centuries. Each symbol, or rune, holds a specific meaning, such as joy, harvest, or journey. Following the Elder Futark came the Younger Futark, a streamlined set of 16 runes reflecting the linguistic changes in Scandinavia during the Viking Age. These runes, despite their reduced number, retained their mystical aura and continued to serve as a conduit for spiritual introspection. Finally, we have the Anglo-Saxon Futhork, a system of runes used by the early English and Frisians. With an expanded set of 33 symbols, the Futhork offered a broader spectrum of meanings and interpretations, further deepening the enigma of runes. These runes were not merely used for communication, but were deeply intertwined with the spiritual and magical practices of the time. They served as tools for divination, talismans for protection, and conduits for invoking the divine. Whether it's the 24 symbols of the Elder Futhark, the 16 of the Younger Futhark, or the 33 of the Anglo-Saxon Futhark, each rune whispers a secret, waiting to be understood. The enigmatic language of runes, encoded with wisdom and mystery, continues to bewitch us even today. Rune divination, a practice shrouded in mystique, has intrigued people for centuries. Let's delve into the art of rune reading, or as it is often known, rune casting. This ancient method of divination is akin to reading a celestial map, where each star, or in this case, each rune, holds a particular meaning. The runes are cast, often onto a white cloth, and the positions and symbols are interpreted. But it's not as simple as it sounds. Each rune is a symbol, a letter in an old Germanic alphabet, but it's also an intricate representation of a concept, an entity, or a force of nature. Take, for instance, the rune Isa. This rune, resembling a simple vertical line, is a symbol of ice. It represents standstill, a pause or a blockage in one's path. When this rune appears in a reading, it invites contemplation, caution or patience. Then there's Hagalaz, the rune of hail. This symbol, akin to an H, signifies disruption, destruction or uncontrolled forces. When Hagalaz makes an appearance, it suggests a need for resilience amidst adversity. But remember, runes are not fortune-telling tools. They don't predict a fixed future. Instead, they offer a reflection of the present and a perspective on potential outcomes based on current paths. And then there's the matter of reversed runes. Much like tarot, runes can also present themselves upside down, which can either negate the original meaning or introduce a completely new interpretation. Rune divination is an art that requires intuition and understanding. You're not just interpreting symbols, you're decoding a mystical language that speaks of life's complexities and the universal forces at play. It's a practice that invites introspection, 
that asks us to look beyond the surface to seek the hidden currents beneath still waters. So whether you're a seasoned rune reader or a curious newcomer, reflect on this. Each rune is like a whispered secret, a fragment of ancient wisdom waiting to be understood. Rune divination, a journey into the unknown, is a testament to the human quest for understanding the universe. While runes hold their own mystique, they are not alone in the realm of divination. Like runes, another ancient method of divination is the lesser-known practice of reading beans, or favomancy. In both practices, objects, whether they be carved runes or simple beans, are used as tools to tap into the unseen, to divine future events or gain insight into a situation. However, where they differ is in their symbolism and interpretation. As we explained before, runes, with their intricate symbols inscribed on stones or pieces of wood, carry the weight of ancient wisdom. Each rune has a unique meaning, often associated with a Norse god or concept. When cast in a certain pattern, they are read together, creating a narrative that speaks to the question at hand. On the other hand, reading beans is far more simple, yet equally profound. The beans, often thrown into a small circle, are read based on their position and proximity to each other. Unlike runes, there are no prescribed meanings attached to each bean. Instead, the interpretation is more intuitive, based on the reader's instinct and perception. So, while runes offer a structured, symbolic approach to divination, reading beans provides a more fluid, intuitive method. Both are steeped in tradition and require a deep understanding and respect for the practice. Whether it's runes or beans, each divination method offers a unique lens to peek into the unknown. The allure of runes transcends time, captivating minds in the 21st century. These ancient symbols, etched in stone and bone, continue to resonate with a profound depth of meaning. They are more than just an archaic alphabet or a tool for divination. They are a testament to the enduring search for understanding and connection in a complex world. Runes invite us to delve into the mysteries of the universe, to seek wisdom and insight. They offer a bridge to the esoteric, a gateway to the hidden realms of the mind and spirit. And this mystique, this allure, it persists, it endures. It beckons to scholars and seekers alike, inviting a deeper exploration, a deeper understanding. For those intrigued by the enigmatic language of runes and eager to delve deeper, there is a plethora of books and literature available. The Book of Runes by Ralph Blum offers a comprehensive view of rune history and divination. For a more scholarly approach, Runes, Reading the Past by R.I. Page provides an in-depth exploration of the runes' historical context. It is our hope that this exploration of runes has sparked your curiosity, kindled a flame of interest. We invite you to share your thoughts, your insights, your experiences with runes. As we continue to explore and decode these mystical symbols, we are not just uncovering the past, we're also paving the way for future discovery. As we decode the mystical language of runes, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and universal understanding. There is a plethora of fascinating and mind-bending topics coming to our channel, so don't forget to subscribe to Lumen Spiritus and hit the notification bell for even more captivating mysteries. Stay tuned for our next video.